Hey guys, Nova here, and sorry, I've been away. <laughs> uh, but I'm back, and I will be uploading videos a lot. So, for the first one, this is my design for a random pulse generator. It it's a ver it's actually very good because the it uses the redstone update trick, the redstone torch update trick, where if the redstone torch is burn burns out like this one has, uh, it will randomly update within five minutes or something. It could update four times in one minute or uh, once every five minutes. It's totally random. There you go. I just went off. And with this, I uh, just hooked up a, since you saw it pulses many times, it does to burn itself out again. I hooked up just to stabilize the circuit so it sends a, a one, just a, it sends a single pulse rather than multiple pulses. And it also works the bud switch, so just like that. Yep. And I just, I just, sort of expanded on this, because I used the bud switch idea to make it way, 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 way more compact than anything I've seen. Because there's a lot of pulse generator, uh, random pulse generators that are tileable, but they're all pretty big and take up a lot of space. This is very, very, very simple. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. There we go. And yet, yeah, just so, all you want to do is just put these redstone torches up here, like so. Then on the other side, just put your redstone to redstone dust down. Now this works as oh my bad, <laughs> sorry. Just gotta bit some redstone dust up there. And now this works very well as if one of these torches goes off, it sends a signal down because uh, of the bud switches, because they will detect the redstone update from above. They will because redstone updates uh, work with bud switches from two blocks away they can and that is what happens so there's my random pulse generator extremely compact yep three wide uh, <laughs> too long and how many you want high resource efficient and yeah so I will be coming out with more videos very soon guys, and I'm currently working on a giant arena map, which will be it will be almost a fully functioning game, it will, so it will be like a first person shooter, almost, but first person minecrafter. <laughs> uh, so you can choose your game mode, team deathmatch, domination, tower control, please don't uh, patent that Seth Blaine, because I like it. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so you and along with that, you'll be able to choose teams. You'll be able to set a number of people per team. And I'm looking to set up a randomizer so our random people can get chosen uh, for each team automatically. Also, that you might be able to change maps even at a later date. But of course, that's way in the future because massive projects I'm just doing by myself so yeah <laughs> it'll take a while but I'm looking to get it out into alpha stage by uh, yeah probably in about a week and but that won't be released to public that will just be I'll I'll set up some uh, sort of competition or something between some people and we could play along with it so yeah Hope you look forward to that. I am. And hope you enjoyed this video. I will also submit this as an entry to Cube Hamsters. Uh, sharing is caring. And yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.